Yo, what's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. On a previous video, we cleaned out the honeycombs and the metal plate that's underneath it that makes sure that the laser doesn't burn your table or whatever you have that's holding the unit. I've noticed that even with a honeycomb, uh, let me show you and flip the screen here. So here you have, whoa, doing some magic over here. So here you have that metal plate and then here you have the honeycomb, right? That's on top of that plate. The smoke is hard to escape from the bottom here. It does a little bit, but most of it comes from the top here. And the back side, it barely uh, seeps through the bottom and it tries to escape uh, when it's getting blown through the, uh, the air assist, it blows out and uh, it blows over on top of the honeycomb. When we received the honeycomb uh, panels, they gave us some rubber bumpers uh, to put on these corners because these corners are sharp. But I think I'm going to put those bumpers on the bottom and that's what we're going to do today. And that'll give us that lift that we need so that the smoke can go down under or in between the honeycomb uh, slots and out through the bottom this way. Uh, I think that'll help with the smoke. I don't get too much burning uh, or anything like that, but I noticed that there is no room for the smoke to come out. So let's go ahead and get those bumpers, put them on, and let's see the difference between this here and when we put the bumpers on. All right, so we're back here. These are the little pads, and these are 3M. Supposedly they're 3M VHB, which stands for very high bonding or bond. Anyway, you'd peel off this double-sided uh, sticky. That came out pretty good. All right, so I just put the corner in first, and then I'll put in one side and put in the other side and once it's down that's it you don't want to try and pick it back up because it's a very very thinner than paper i mean it's very thin uh adhesive and that's it and so that's how that's going to look just like that and so we're going to do that for all four corners and show you how it looks and how much space of a gap we have and hopefully we'll catch some video of the uh the smoke coming out from underneath my thinking is that that little bit of space will allow the smoke to come from underneath the honeycomb uh, instead of above it like it has been so uh, we'll be right back all right so I know it's kind of loud but we're gonna do uh, the same cut file uh, right here I'm gonna show you flip this over real quick this is the panel that does not have the pads yet. That's this one down here. All right, this one has all the pads on it. So we're gonna do this one first. We're gonna run the same file. It's a uh, key. And so let's uh, go ahead and, actually I'm gonna, let's frame it real quick. Perfect. I'm gonna have the fan exhausting the fumes out until I get a cover to use this uh, AC Infinity. All right, we got everything running. As you can see, it's coming from above. See that? It's exiting between the the material and the honeycomb. As you can see, it's exiting through there and through that side. 
be right here. It. It's coming from underneath the material. When I believe it should be coming from the bottom of the honeycomb. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll let this finish out, and then we'll do the the one with the honeycomb and the uh, the pads at the bottom. Okay, so this is how it looks after one burn. You can see the key shape. This is the key shape. This is the top side. This is the bottom side. Okay. And this is uh, what's it, what it looked like after the first burn. We're actually going to turn this around to a clean side and let's see if it makes a difference on how much residue it leaves behind. Okay, so now that we got some space in there, this uh, key is three millimeters thick. So we slide this in here. It's probably about it barely goes in there so it's about four millimeters of space a little over one eighth of an inch all right so let's go ahead and uh, we got it set up so we're going to frame it and cut the same design out and let's see how it looks all right so we're going to frame it all right let's go Got the fan on, got the shop door open, and let's start cutting. It is hard to see, but now you have smoke coming from, actually you cut it from, from both, from the top and the bottom, but it is coming out from the bottom now. It's just a little bit more relief. Now it's coming out the top over here. And right there, it's coming out the top. And I guess because the, the uh, air assist is blowing from the top side, so it's blowing out from right there. You can see that. But it is blowing from the bottom there. I don't know if you can tell, but it is blowing from the bottom. So at least it's giving it a little bit of relief from the top. Yeah, it's coming off on the bottom right there. I don't know if you can tell from the video. So it, at least it's not 100% being forced from the top of the honeycombs. So there it is, a bunch right there. It's coming from the bottom. So I think that's, that's pretty good. We're going to see... See, there it comes from the top as well from in between in between the material and the honeycomb coming a lot from right there I don't see anything coming from over oh actually I do there's a little bit of smoke coming from over there so it is traveling and, and going out there's a lot coming out there but this is a lot this is a lot different smoke I think because it's raised up it's, ha it's being able to go down and able to disperse and then come up when before it was just uh in one spot there it is coming from the bottom all from the bottom there's a little bit of coming from the now i just hit the unit it's going to come out crooked so anyway i think it does help it does help putting these bumpers on here these uh these bumpers it came with Gives it a little bit of breathing room. 
so the smoke is just not all accumulated on the bottom side. So we're gonna let this finish and then we're gonna see the back side and we're gonna see the, the metal underneath here and see how much, if it did the same, uh, left the same amount of residue. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. There's a the little pieces left. Let me vacuum these up real quick. Okay. That did a lot better. This did not leave. Let me flip you guys around. This did not leave as much. Let me get this out of the way. Look at that. And look at that. So you get a lot less uh, residue when you lift up the uh, honeycomb panel. Same design, same speed, same power. That's crazy. So you get a lot less residue. So make sure you can, if you get this honeycomb panel, make sure to put those rubber bumpers on there on the bottom and lift that panel up about an eighth of an inch or a little bit more. Or if you use your own honeycomb panels, uh, make sure you got some air under there uh, to relieve some of that smoke. That's pretty good to see. Uh, uh, that's a pretty, pretty cool to see. So less residue, still sticky, still wet. Might as well, I'm gonna wipe that up before it dries. And this is now sticky. Cool. I have to show you. And this is where I bumped it, the machine, where I said I bumped it. It kind of moved it and uh, yeah, it misaligned it. But the scorching in the back, this is with no space. Uh, and this is with a little bit of space on the honeycomb and the metal plate. It's actually a little bit better when you leave a little bit of space. There's less of the, uh, I guess the charring or burning of the wood. This is the one with, uh, with a little bit of space. And this is the one with no space. So hopefully you like this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, let me know as always by giving it a thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe if you can, it really helps out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Have you seen the difference between if you have space between your honeycomb or not? I actually did find a difference and the smoke actually dispersed a little bit better or a lot better. Anyway, uh, hopefully this video was uh, helpful to you or just, you know, fun, entertaining to watch. And until then, hope you're having a good day printing. We'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later. Peace.